part of the fuel system that had to be designed and uh, there was no real good way to do this so I ended up doing this myself um, and, and all this is approved we did this on a 337 form if you look in here you've got a very narrow distance to get fuel from uh, up above down into this tank and there's not very many good ways to do it I've seen people use right angle fixtures but it's it's fairly weak so what I ended up doing is making this it's a, a semicircle almost like a partial horseshoe and what it does is nice and flat the fuel line comes in from the back I have a check valve and I can show you another picture of that um, but it prevents fuel from leaving the tank it's a one-way check valve so the fuel comes in and it drops down the center hole so there's actually three of these bolt holes that are involved the first two hold down the whole fitting and the one in the middle is what's delivering fuel so you actually have to drill out the um, um, the uh, hole for the bolt so it goes straight into the tank and there's a uh, press fit 3 8 inch tubing that drops down inside of there now this thing delivers at a rate of uh, 30 gallons an hour which is three times the burn rate of my airplane so what that works out to at 20 gallons is you can transfer an entire 20 gallons into either main in approximately 40 minutes so I go uh, 10 minutes for every five gallons that's that's the range so in an hour and 20 minutes you could you could dump 40 gallons into the tank obviously it was much faster than what you need to burn but uh, it, it's kind of nice you can fly the left tank down to um, a quarter tank and fill the thing up and fly it at the same time uh, you never have a, a, a difficulty in, in, in getting fuel to where you need to burn it, um, which is very, very nice. Uh, a lot of systems I've seen, you have to be very good on the management of fuel. If you don't, then even though you have the fuel on board, you can't transfer it as fast as you are burning it. 